everybody. How are we all? Now, just waiting for a few people to pop on. How is everybody? Hiya, Margaret. Now, so I'm going to do an eye look. I posted it earlier, um, the lovely pink eye. And, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to try and create for you. Now, I'm just going to pop primer on. my primer on. How are you all today? Now, so, um, I'll begin. I'm Amory Deans and I'm, oh, I have not know the look at that, no. Let's get off it. Um, I'll, I'll start again. Better angle in the camera. How are you all today? Yeah, it's great to see you all. So, if you, I'm Emily Deans, and I'm a Yellow Status presenter for Unique. If you are watching me today, there will be a red live button in the corner. Hello, welcome. Hi, Lily. Or is it Lilla? Lilla. Hi, Lilla. So basically, um, say hello and entry back. Give me love hearts. My husband's just popped up a load from there now. Thank you, hubby. So, basically, yes, let Facebook know you're watching. If you are new, watch me pop in new. And if you are on the replay, pop in hashtag replay. Okay, so it is lovely to see you all. Now, like I said, I'm going to do the uh, the makeup look that I, wa I popped up earlier. I'm a bit later than I said I would be. Um, the the day kind of got away from me and I was going for for a run. I've started doing the zero to five k, and um, and I said if I did the live and did my makeup, I'd end up not doing the run. So I did the run even though it made me late for this. But it was important to get the run in as well. So how is everyone now? So I put on, I put on my primer. I use the hydrating primer. <laughs> Um, we have the Touch Glorious Primer, the Hydrating Primer, and the Mattifying Primer, if anybody's interested, okay? Um, why do I prime? To get an even skin surface, to, so my foundation goes on better, and stays on better. This moisturizes under my foundation, and it gives you a flawless finish. Which is what we all want. Now, I'm using the Stick Foundation today. <laughs> now, so basically you just pop it on and then I'll brush it out. So you kind of look a bit funny when you do it, but it'll all brush out. So this is the, the stick foundation and I'm using the color of Velour. Now, and then you just brush it out. I did ha I have a mirror, thank goodness, I was going to say I did have a mirror here, so I can't really see on the camera, but I can see better in the mirror than what's going on, as even as I wanted to.
Did you spread it out? Until you get the coverage you want. What I'm actually going to do is I'm get my sponge. Then. That's the foundation done. Hi Lisa. Okay, so that's my foundation done. Okay. And I'm going to keep that out because I might need that in a minute. Okay. Now, so the next thing we're going to concentrate on the eyes. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is the um, concealer. So a little bit on my hand. And then I'm going to get my concealer brush, so it's just a flat brush. And I'm going to do it under my eyes. Down my nose, a little bit on the chin, and a little bit on the forehead. There we go. And then you just blend that then with your beauty bud. Now I'm also going to pop a bit on the eyelids. Now the reason I do the eyelids is it evens out any uneven colour you have basically on your eyelids so that the colour pops and you put your colour on. Now you'd have to excuse the eyebrows ladies, no, no beauticians open to get the eyebrows sorted. So I'm having to just manage with the way they are. So, um, can everybody hear me? Hi, Aideen. Now, so, right, so that's all my concealer and everything done. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm working with the um, Moodstroke Beloved palette, quad palette, but you can get these colours, you can make up your own palette and get these colours. So I'll let you know what colours I'm using as well as we go along, okay? And I'll also pop it into the um, into the comments later. What colours are used now? So right, I'm going to get the the big fluffy the big fluffy brush, and and I'm going to use doting. Hi, Amelia. We'll pop that all over the eye. Now I'm going to 
gonna do my brow next actually I'm gonna use do my brows I'm using my brow obsession palette I'm just gonna use my I'm gonna carve out my brow line now this is extremely hard to do at the minute because I'm just gonna use the the blonde to do this um Simply because my eyebrows are all over the shop and but we'll do our best. Now I need my spoolie. So my spoolie. And I'm going to everything down. Now, I'm going to use the pencil to draw where I want the eyebrow to begin and end because I'm kind of making my own shape because I'm not actually, I'm following my brow but I'm kind of trying to ignore some of it as well, if you know what I mean, because it's I'm so mad at the minute. My angled brush, and I'm going to go with the lighter color. And then just fill in. I'm going to go with a bit darker then. It's going to be a little bit of concealer. I usually get them waxed, um, Lilla, in the beauticians in town and because I have ridiculous eyebrows and I haven't been able to go and I've tried plucking them myself and it's just, it's not working. But I'm, I'm going to have to just be savage and just do it some night because they're completely mad at the minute. I think that's the best I can do. So I'm going to pop a little bit of wax on and smooth them all back down again and then see where we're at. Okay, that's the best I can do for the minute. I don't think they're too bad looking. 
fairly even Stevens. But yeah, they, they need serious plucking <laughs> the minutes that they do. Anyway, right, we're, so we're going to go back to the eye and concentrate on the eye. So we're popping the doting on. And plenty of it. Okay, so that's the doting. And the next colour then I'm going to do is the wood. But not with this brush because this is too big. So I'm going to get my smaller brushes which I had out. So my two fluffy brushes but the smaller ones. Okay, and we're going to do uh, wood, and we're going to pop wood into the crease, so in the corner, and then up into the crease. Can you see that? So in the corner and then up into the crease. Okay, now what I'm going to do next with my eye primer, a little blob in my hand, I'm going to attempt a cut crease. So basically you have this colour on. And then you're going to cover in most of your bottom lid. And you go really sharp into your crease, okay? And that's why I wanted I'm just gonna put another bit of pink there because I don't want to lose the pink, but I want um I want the, the lighter colour to shine through. So that's why I'm doing the cut crease. Eye primer is great because it's stickier than concealer, so it goes, it goes exactly where you want it to go, like so. Okay, now. Um, 
So we're going to go back on with the doting. Make sure we have a clean brush. You don't use the brush you have the pink on because that would be a disaster. So back on with the doting and you're going to put the doting in here. Now I'm actually going to look for another colour because that's not shiny enough. Okay, I'm going to try um, smitten. So I want it shiny. in here as well so you get the you get the shine and that makes the corner your eye pop as well okay And then the next colour I'm going to do is irreplaceable and that's the dark, the dark pink and I'm going to put that out here. And in towards the middle of my eye. And anywhere you kind of lost colour we can go back over so, and into the crease as well, like that, okay? And don't worry, we'll blend that now in a minute. Okay, and then with a smaller brush, again, make sure we're clean. I'm going to use the ostentatious. So it's this colour. And these are all the pressed powders and they can all be got. So you can make up your own palette. And then I'm going to use that to go into the middle of my eye and to blend. Also. So you're kind of going dark, dark, dark light and then... Um, into the, into the light again. Okay. I'm just gonna go with the dark green because I don't want to lose the dark pigment either. Okay, there are your little pops of colour, and then I'm going to get 
a clean blending brush and then just slightly blend everything if you're happy with it So you're just blending so you have no sharp lines, okay? And yeah, I'm going to go back with the, the wood again. Okay, and then the irreplaceable. And you keep going till you have the effect that you want. So if you want more irreplaceable, you just plan more irreplaceable. And you keep going till you go, yeah, that's the look I wanted. And then we go with the little dab of smitten again just to brighten it up and to re blend. Now, we're going to get this little fella then, and we're going to go under the eye. So it doesn't matter that some of it has fallen down, that's perfectly fine. We'll just put a little bit under the eye of the wood. And then we're going to tidy up. So we're going to get our brush. Shall I get my... I put popped foundation on this earlier and you just tidy up anywhere where there was any fallout okay so can you see that okay so that's basically the shadow done okay now what we're going to do next then is the liner. Okay, so put them over there. So basically, do your eyeliner. You stretch your eye and you just bring it out. Now, I'm not doing a big winged eyeliner today. I'm just doing... So I have an eyeliner, nice and smooth and bring it out. Okay. And it always, I think it always looks a bit wrong until you get your mascara on. So don't panic. You think, oh, it's too thick, it's too whatever. Because remember, most of it will, and I just thin out as I'm getting out to the edge, most of it will disappear with your mascara. Okay, so that's your eyeliner 
and then I'm going to do my mascara so okay so to do my mascara I'm going to use the primer and my 4D Now I'm going to put down the primer first and it separates all the eyelashes and gives them a little bit of volume and it just helps your mascara to look even more awesome. Okay, that's the primer and I'm going to put on the 4D. So the 4D, um, just to explain to you what it is, it's basically, it's a mascara with fibres in it. So when you put it on, it will add volume and lengthen your eyelashes, okay? And you literally wiggle and roll. Here you go, and pop them on. Okay. I hate doing this eye. It's always more awkward than the other eye. I never know where to put my hand. Yeah, I think I have enough fun, otherwise they look too, too cakey. But you see what I mean by the, that the eyeliner then suddenly just looks so much better because it goes into your mascara. Okay, I actually really like that now. That's really pretty. And then, now I was going to do a red lipstick and I've changed my mind. I'm actually going to find a pink lipstick and keep the color all pink. Uh, let me see, what have I? Yeah, I think I'll go with this one. So I'm going to go with striking. I'm not sure if striking is still available, but it's matches. And it's one of the splash lipsticks. Here we go. So we're uh, matchy matchy. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. Now, I'm not great at contouring, so you have to bear with me. But we'll 
give it a go. We'll give it a go. Okay, so I have the sculpting trio. And you have your dark color, your lighter color, and then your highlight, okay? So basically your dark color along here, along here, and along here. So soak in the cheekbones and you go along here. And I'm going to blend that out now in a minute. It looks a bit crazy when you first put it on. But we'll blendy blend in a minute. Up here. And down here. Now I'm not doing the nose because I can't do the nose. And I'm not going to pretend that I can. So I'm just going to blend all that now with a fluffy brush. If you blend it all in so it doesn't look quite like a line. Okay, so can you see that? Actually, that's not too bad. I'm happy with that. Okay, and then with the lighter color then, actually I'll use this brush, see when I have it in my hand, you do, you kind of just do here, your nose and your chin, and kind of at the top of your, your um, cheekbones. Don't try and get, there we go. Here you go. Down here. And down your nose. And your chin. Okay. And then with the smaller brush, I'm going to take some of the highlighter. Some of these don't come off. What is that like? A little bit there. You can see that it's shiny. Okay, it's a little bit on the cupid's bow. A little bit down your nose, not too much because it is shiny, and then you highlight. Okay, and I'm just going to blend that on my, because that's too shiny for my nose now, so I'm just going to dull that a little bit. Okay, don't mind the shine on my cheeks, but it's a little bit too much for my nose. There you go, and then that just, you can pat that out if you think it's a bit too shiny, but it just highlights the cupid's bow. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do then is just a little bit of blush. And I'm going to do the blush with the, with the big thing, tiny, tiny bit on the brush. Find the apple of your cheek and then just pop. If you smile, your apples will pop up. And you just pop it on there to pop a little bit of colour back. I think that's, it's, quite, it's lovely for the summer, you know. Um, just pop that bit of colour back in your face. There we go. I think we're done. I think I've done everything I wanted to do. I'm delighted with the pink lipstick. I'm glad I changed from the um the red because I was going to do red, but I am um, when I saw the pink, I thought no, I actually quite like. I have a pink that will go with that. So I'm delighted with that now. So what do you think? Happy out with that. And I will pop up the pic that I was trying to follow, that I got the inspiration from, um, just to show you, and you can let me know how close it is to it. But there you go. All right. So that's it. So um, 
basically to let you all know this month the kodos is up to ye the kodos is completely up to ye this month so any product if you anything if you buy any sets of products that and it's over 87 euros you'll get 15 percent off and you just click it in and it automatically takes the 15 percent off anything at all anything you see on the website you can bundle it together and get it okay now i've been putting up a few suggestions in the posts stuff that i think will goes together makes a nice bundle but it is entirely up to you so um yeah so i'll pop the link into the comments um when i'm done make up your own kudos this month have a ball have a blast get get all the stuff you've been meaning to get for ages get it while you can get 15 percent off why not um, and the last thing I want to chat to you about before I go, I didn't bring it in with me actually and I meant to, is the beauty box. The beauty box is still available. It will always be available. If you are interested in what I do and you want to be part of my team and start doing what I do, just give me a PM. And I will chat to you about the beauty box and I will chat to you about the opportunity. Okay, I want to thank you all for staying with me. Um, it was a bit of a long one today, but I am delighted with the results. And I hope you are. I hope I gave you a few tips. Um, thank you for watching and I will chat to you all again soon.